Some second graders may be well on their way to becoming meteorologists someday. That's true. They have their very own weather station, at least. And as you'll see in tonight's Never Stop Learning report, rain or shine, the budding young scientists always look forward to gathering their data. Where would you put the wind direction? Okay, remember our wind direction is right here. A little bit of rain doesn't slow down Julie Smith's students. The second graders are checking the wind speed, wind direction, temperature, and the amount of precipitation at North Canton Elementary School. They'll use this information and compare it to readings from the school's solar-powered weather station. See it up there on the roof? I see it. Smith says she uses facts about the weather in her math and science lessons. The weather warriors say it makes classwork much more interesting. It gets me more interested because um, it makes me know a lot more about weather than I did before. Because it's like making me happy because you can do more stuff because before you only say like it's raining. But now you can get like rain gauges and Okay. Wind speed and stuff to work with it. The highest so far today has been, has been what? Well, the weather station, iPods, and staff development was funded through a math and science grant. It's one of nine grants Smith has received in the past two years. Other teachers are also able to use the weather station in their classroom assignments. All I can say is that Jason, Julie, Karen, and Ingrid better watch out. That's because right. Right on, their, right on their tails, aren't they? Right on their right footsteps. Right there.